What's up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today in Premiere Pro, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this effect right here. You've probably seen it in the Drake Sicko Mode video, and it's also in the movie. So it's a super cool effect, it's kinda like the face is being tracked, and it's kinda wonky, so it's cool to use for music videos as well. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this in Premiere Pro if you guys don't have After Effects. So let's get straight into it. So I have this uh, old clip from a music video shot a while ago. Um, it's someone performing down a road. I thought it worked pretty big. I thought it worked pretty good because he moves around quite a bit. So we're actually going to go ahead and track this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to go to color mat. This is kind of a different way to do it because if you were to do it in um, After Effects, you would literally just um, track the head. But we're going to kind of manually track the head on this because tracking isn't too good in um, what's it called in Premiere. So I just created a new film mat uh, color. And I'm going to make this small, like probably about the size of his head, like what we want to track. And then I'm going to uh, bring down the opacity, turn off that little key, bring it down. And then that's where we're going to try and keep his head. So maybe let's actually like put it, let's say we want his head in the middle. Obviously, this clip's not going to be super high quality because we're going to be zooming in so much. So on yours, when you shoot it, make sure to be a little more uh, cautious of how much you want to zoom in. Then what I'm going to want to do is I want to grab the transform. Uh, tool transform double click that on and um, yeah now we can literally uh, we're gonna select uh, scale and position we're gonna start zoomed in and now literally we just need to keep his head in that uh... so what we're gonna want to do is we're just literally gonna want to follow his face frame by frame uh, I just put this red circle so you can kind of remember where it is and he's there comes down a little bit just follow it continue this entire process uh, for as long as you want the clip to be and then the cool thing about this uh, using transform instead of using motion and actually unclick that right there shutter angle and we'll turn that up and then we'll go to the beginning and then we'll watch that so it kind of gives us that blurry type effect so you can kind of see it's kind of like the Drake sicko mode video so we'll turn that off and this was right in Premiere. That probably only took like what? Like, it really was not that long. Uh, you can see it without the, uh, what's it called? The effect. So it actually still does work. So for some reason, I wasn't able to, um, what's it called? I wasn't able to like do the dragging, but with motion, you could easily do the dragging. So that should work too. So if you want to just use motion, we could literally just go like that. And then you can drag super easy. And then we'll move forward. Yeah, that's a lot easier. So motion should still work as well. Um, but if you want to add some extra blur, uh, it's a lot better using shutter angle. But it kind of sucks that for some reason, mine wasn't letting me drag. See, you can move a lot faster with the drag. So if you start seeing black, you're just going to have to zoom in a little bit more. But actually, I kind of like it without the motion blur. So there's two different ways to do it. One with motion blur, one without. Let me know which one you guys prefer and if you guys found this helpful. If you guys found this helpful, drop a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Tyler Casey. I'm going to drop some more videos soon. So make sure to subscribe. Catch you guys next time. Thanks again.